Merry Christmas YouTube. I hope that the traffic noise isn't too bad. It's December 25th, 2018, about two o'clock in the afternoon, 36 degrees. Still have a little snow on the ground from yesterday. But today I wanted to talk about a cargo solution for my Prius. I watched some videos on different cargo solutions and all of them were several hundreds of dollars. I put this together minus the hitch for about 160, 150, somewhere in there. And I uh, had my friend Ace help me install it, which um, was a little bit of a DIY thing, but not too bad. So I'm gonna show you what I've got here. Um, first of all, the hitch is a class one. That's not included in that price. The cargo carrier does have a little bit of a rise to it, as you can see there. That's absolutely essential because you're going to want some ground clearance coming off of driveways and gas stations and things like that. The carrier itself can hold 300 pounds, but don't put that much on there on a class one hitch. Um, so I got this from, well, I'll post it on the link below where I got it from, but you can get them on Amazon. I got it where I got it at. I actually had a rebate on it, which was cool. This I got for 80 bucks from, you guessed it, tractor supply it's kind of a flexible plastic really heavy duty it had a whole big pile of snow on here but the reason I like this is because you could see the plate you can see the lights I didn't have to put anything extra no wiring none of that I'm gonna put some reflective tape on here but it's gonna give me a whole bunch of storage and I doubt I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed okay so uh, lots of room and so what we did was ran some bolts with cascading washers so big one on the bottom and progressively smaller to help distribute the weight a little bit better because this is a plastic so we'll see how it holds up um, long term still has metal shavings in here so we did uh, a u-bracket right there over the middle part of the cargo carrier and then one in each corner which I think is plenty. Uh, I've driven several hundred miles now with it, no issues whatsoever. But just so you can kind of see on the bottom. So this is the U-bracket that you can get. And then the bolts are just in the corner there. Nothing too spectacular, but it's gonna help me out. Give me some more room, which is something that I wanted after staying in the Prius for a few nights and found out that yeah having a little bit of extra stuff and I hate moving stuff around to get to other things so I thought if I could put a few things back here it'd be nice I have noticed zero difference in fuel economy so far but I have not put anything in here so again I'm gonna put all the links in the description below for what it is um, what would I do differently uh, I'm not sure. I guess I'm kind of concerned that how this is uh, pressed down that eventually that might crack. But this seems like really flexible stuff. And it has really great reviews. So I'm sure it'll hold up fine. We'll see. Uh, but what I would do different would be adding the reflective tape, which I'll do. And then I probably would have switched these bolts out. You can already see that they've kind of chewed into the box a little bit I don't know if that's gonna get any worse or not so I'll keep my eye on it but if I would have just flipped these around and put the smooth part in definitely wouldn't have been an issue uh, other than that though I've been very happy I haven't dragged it across anything so I guess that's it I'll uh, show you some more videos as I go got a few more things that I want to do to the Prius before I go to the rubber tramp rendezvous 2019 so that'll be coming up and uh, more videos to follow so thanks for watching hope that your christmas was good and um i'll see you later